Good afternoon. Welcome to Deep Thoughts World Driving. Just getting out of my parking spot here. <sighs> Me, myself, and I, as per normal. It's one of those overcast but bright days today. So, yeah. So, yay! Today was my staff Christmas party. Oh, it's better. You can see. Uh, my son was in school, so he didn't come with us. The wife and I went. Neither one of us got much sleep last night, so that sucks. Uh, uh, uh. It's at the wife's work, so there's pool upstairs. Or bowling upstairs, pool on the main floor. And neither one of us can bowl. Well, if I tweak my back, I can't go to work, so. Um, there's that. So we played pool. She kicked my butt four games to two. <laughs> the one game, well, she basically gave it to me by saying an eight ball. So, yep. Food was great. Oh my god. Oh, excuse me. Like I said, I didn't get much sleep. My manager comes up to me. Hey, how's it going? Oh, not too bad. She's like, yeah, I didn't recognize you. I only got the hat on because of the lights. So, I got the hat on so it doesn't bother my eyes. She's like, yeah, and you know, you're dressed up and, you know, looking all good. Yeah, I almost, uh, I didn't recognize you. I'm like, yeah, well, yeah, it's me. She's like, yeah, so I want to talk to you, but I want you to introduce me to your wife. Because, like, she's actually only talked to my wife on the phone once. So <laughs> I introduced her to my wife, and then she's like, so we got a bit of a staffing issue. The nurse is supposed to be on tonight. Called in sick, so she can't come. So, would you mind starting an hour early? <laughs> I'm like, eh, I want to go home and have a nap and sleep for two hours. So, I said yes. So, I'm heading to work an hour early. It will give me one hour of overtime, so... Uh, oh, excuse me. I can't really complain too much because it's the uh, paycheck at the end of the month. So... Yeah, everybody was either bowling or playing pool. I think more people played pool than bowling. Everybody enjoyed the food. It was a pretty good time. It, was, it, it worked out really good because it was... Last year we kind of did our Christmas party thing at a restaurant. So you kind of only got a chance to really talk to the people sitting at the table with you. This time, I mean, there was, you could go, you could, you could bowl, you could play pool, you could just wander around and socialize. So, you know, in my case, because I'm not all that social in the first place, um, I got to be seen in the social out aspect. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> people could come up and talk to me, I could talk to people. At the same time, I'm playing pool, so people could just leave me alone. So, <laughs> it was a nice... Nice, nice balance to it, you know? So, yeah. Oh, God. Hmm. I think I need more coffee. So, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so, the manager gave everybody a Christmas card, you know? Thanks for all your hard work, really appreciate you, you know, happy holidays, you know, and all that stuff, which is nice. Um, from the company, I don't know if it was actually signed by the CEO, but it had the CEO's name on it, so I can't imagine he would have signed all of them himself, realistically. I mean, um, just for up here where we, with our company, well, for our company up in Prince George, uh, with our three buildings, that's our three houses. That's like forty some odd employees, and they're mainly based in the Kamloops Kelowna area, Lower Mainland, and they're in Vancouver. So I mean, like, he would have been signing 
Christmas cards for freaking the past two months. So whether he wrote his name on it or not, doesn't matter. It, the boss's name on it. So it was a thought that counts. And, you know, it was pretty cool because they also threw in there a uh, $50 gift card from for Walmart. Which is, under the circumstances, pretty sweet. I mean, 50 bucks at Walmart, I can, you know, get a couple pairs of jeans or whatever. I mean, I, it, it's Walmart. I, you know, I can get groceries, I can get clothes, I can use it for Christmas presents, whatever. That's pretty cool. It's pretty handy. I, again, 40-ish employees up here, 50 bucks a person, that's two grand. Just, you know, for a gift card for each employee to say thanks. I mean, that's pretty substantial, realistically. So, that was definitely very thoughtful. I mean, I would have been happy with a $25 gift card for crying out loud. But 50 bucks, that's pretty sweet. So, all good. Uh, got a reusable shopping bag with the company logo on it, and which is cool because it's a reserve. We don't get shopping bags. We usually leave the shopping bags in the truck. So, we load everything in the grocery cart, take the cart to the truck, <laughs> load it into the grocery bags, and then the, from the grocery bags uh, in the truck into the house, so that was cool. One more thing that we got that I thought was uh, just extra special, that I thought was pretty cool, the long kind of like felt bag, metal reusable drinking straws, and an actual brush for cleaning them. I mean like, they're environmentally friendly, you know, like the, the manager is trying to be like, um, get us into doing recycling more and, you know, being more environmentally friendly. I mean, we, there's a lot of paper that we go through and a lot of plastics and there's, you know, not necessarily so much, um, biohazard waste because like we don't use syringes, like needle needles so much but we do use like syringes for flushes and stuff like that so we do go through a lot of plastics and stuff and being able to recycle those you know I'm not, we can't we can't recycle them as much as we would like to so something as simple as you know a straight and bent and, and you know curved reusable drinking straw straws plural because one straight one bent one and a brush for cleaning them I mean like sweet I don't know how many times uh, the wife and I we've gone you know we we're out running around we stop at the local mall and we go stop at a uh, and W to you know grab lunch or subway or whatever and they got the paper the, the paper straws the cardboard straws now they're trying to be environmentally friendly which is great but they go into garbage so they don't get recycled and you're drinking out of a paper straw which is totally messed and if you don't drink it fast enough, the straw turns to mush. Our son can go through five of those paper recyclable straws drinking a medium-sized beverage from Subway. Because he chews on it and bends it and whatever, and it breaks and he can't work, so he needs a new one. So the fact that we got these straws, are like, sweet! That's, I mean, to me, it's not a huge thing. I don't know what that costs. I wouldn't have a clue. But it's, uh, you know, it helps out the environment, which is great. But, like, that's a sweet deal. I would like to know where they got them and maybe even, you know, get some more for the household. Because we got boxes of straws because the kid, oh, I want a glass of, can I have a glass of milk? Okay. Well, can I have a straw? Well, you know, being able to use a reusable straw instead of, you know, this single-use plastic straw would be, you know, save garbage. And all that, so that's, that's, I thought that was pretty cool. It's a little thing, but I actually th think there was a lot of thought involved in it. And something as simple as just metal straws. I mean, they couldn't have been cheap, even if they were five bucks a person. Again, at 40 people, you know, that's 200 bucks on these recyclable metal straws. And it's a lot of thought that, that went into it, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, it was, it was quite nice. Um, to me, it wasn't, it's not that it was a huge, overly expensive thing, but a lot of thought went into it. And that's, that's what counts. A lot of thought went into it. Um, the cool thing was, um, I always tell people where my wife works, 
well, now they got to see where my wife works. This is where she works. She got to actually enjoy the food and have the fun there. Go home, sit back, relax. She's picking up her little munchkin. And then uh, a little bit later, she'll be picking up the babysitter. Then she'll go to work herself. And, you know, she got to have fun at work without actually working. So, that was pretty cool. And I've only... I'm always an advocate for people going to her bit, the business she works at because it's a great local business and it's lots of fun um, for the family, for you know, like corporate parties, like in our case, or whatever, birthday parties and stuff. So, you know, it's all good. It's a win 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 situation. Before we stop. So, yeah, um, had a good time. I think everybody had a good time. I didn't see anybody who did not have a smile on their face. Everybody was clearly having fun. Uh, the only downside was uh, apparently everybody was really enjoying the food. A little bit too much. Because <laughs> um, the wife and I were like, the food's out okay, so we, you know, can eat. And like everybody's mobbing to get to the food. Yeah, well, we'll finish our uh, game of pool first. <laughs> we finished our game of pool and we're about to start another one because like the roast beef was gone, so they had to pull out something, you know put out some more yeah well we grabbed some when we could because it was gone the salads were gone the mashed potatoes were almost completely gone everything was just gone like the food just disappeared so like so everybody really seemed to enjoy themselves and yeah, I think everybody had a really good time I definitely would have no problems saying yes let's do it again next year same place same time and uh, yeah enjoy yourselves so I'm almost at work that's it that's all take her easy have a good one catch you later